Former Miss Universe Iraq Sarah Aydin says radical Islamists want to eradicate Israel and the US. Sarah Aydin, Iraq's 2017 Miss Universe, is the founding CEO of Humanity Forward. Former Miss Universe Iraq Sarah Aydin is reflecting on the photo that led her to flee her own country. The beauty pageant contestant was representing Iraq in 2017 when she famously took a selfie with Miss Israel, a dark gandalsman, and posted it on social media. She captioned the snap peace and love from Miss Iraq and Miss Israel. Aydin quickly received death threats for the picture as it was interpreted by some as an endorsement of Israel and a betrayal of Palestinian Arabs, the BBC reported. According to the outlet, Aydin and her family relocated to the US. I was in Miss Universe and I took a selfie with Miss Israel, which caused the Iraqi government to decide to take my Iraqi citizenship from me, Aydin said in an interview recently uploaded on YouTube. Basically my family ended up leaving Iraq. I had to leave Iraq just for taking a selfie with Miss Israel. When asked if she felt the source of hate against Israel was a more religious or political matter, Aydin said definitely, number one, it is religious. There are many things that radical Islamists teach Muslim and Arab lands, but I believe the reason they teach them to hate Jews, in the end, is political, she explained. How can you remove Jews from the Middle East? How can you take over the entire area? The only way they can do that is by convincing them that Jews hate Muslims, Jews seek to destroy the world. There is a very radical Islamist ideology out there that also teaches them that Jews are not even human beings. They are satanic creatures in human form. The amount of anti-Semitism that exists in radical Islam, it's crazy, she shared. It's exactly like the Nazi movement and this is why a lot of Islamists have joined their movement with the neo-Nazis, in order to defeat Jews all over the world. Aydin noted that Israel and Jews weren't the only targets of hate. In 2018, Aydin visited Israel, a trip that enraged people in her native country. At the time she reunited with Gandelsman, 23, during a visit organized by the American Jewish Committee to talk about peace. Despite the criticism, Aydin said she isn't afraid, and that she visited Israel because I want peace for everyone, for Israelis, for Palestinians. Aydin is the founder of Humanity Forward, an organization that is committed to building bridges among Muslims and Jews in order to surpass borders and promote reconciliation, tolerance, mutual understanding, and peace. According to its website, Aydin has remained fearful of returning home.